Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's Sheriff's Office employees stormed out of the Chesapeake building this Tuesday after a request for pay parity for deputies was denied by the county commissioners. The request was submitted by the Fraternal Order of the Police Lodge No. 7 on September 9th and addressed a long-term goal of the police union for an immediate adjustment for the sworn law enforcement salary scale for St. Mary's Sheriff's Office. An amended plan regarding the St. Mary's County Board of Education's health insurance holidays for school employees was approved by the county commissioners during Tuesday's meeting, cutting the planned relief for two months to just one. The original plan was to pay for and other school staff's health care premiums through four paychecks or two months. This new plan was reduced down to two paychecks. In addition, two payments originally planned for retirees' health care premiums have been reduced to one. After a 1,200-word letter and a Facebook post, drivers are pushing to increase the pay to at least match the cost of surrounding counties, and some commissioners are looking to help. However, Commissioner John O'Connor had a different view on it. He stated at the commissioners' meeting on November 19th, You know, if you're asking for a pay increase and you're a professional driver, you should earn that pay increase and not run those stop signs. This week, Governor Larry Hogan announced the appointment of former Assistant State's Attorney James Lee Tonavage to a new district court judgeship created by the state legislator early this year. After graduating from the University of Baltimore School of Law in 1990, Tonavage served as a law clerk for Charles County Circuit Judge Robert C. Nally before working as a private practice attorney for 18 months with Farmer and Braun and Charles. Slade said on Monday afternoon, I'm glad to see Jim got it. He's a great lawyer and a great friend. I'm looking forward to appearing before him as a judge. In the first quarter of Friday night's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference crossover game, the Leonardtown Raiders were struggling to hit the shots in its home opener versus Lackey. The Raiders found themselves down 15-6 after one quarter of play and Lackey freshman Andrea Harley exploded for 12 first quarter points to help the visitors capture the early edge. Leonardtown's second year head coach Talita Butler made a switch on defense and the Raiders were able to turn things around and earn a 54-41 victory to begin the season. Monday night's boys basketball game at Thomas Stone High School featured a rematch of last season's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Championship contest at Great Mills was looking for some revenge this time around against the Cougars. Hornets head coach Jeff Burrell said, We knew that Thomas Stone's another very good team. When you play good teams, it is going to come down to a couple of possessions turnovers, missed assignments, and big shots. Stone junior Jarrell McCready sank two foul shots with two seconds left in the overtime to help the Cougars prevail with a 75-74 victory over Great Mills. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Salzenbaugh. And I'm James King, signing, signing off. off.